One of the world's largest apparel companies is moving to Colorado after the state hands out its second largest tax incentive package. I'm Britt Moreno. Thank you for joining us. That company is VF Corporation, which owns a number of outdoor clothing brands, many of which you probably know, like the North Face, Jansport, and Smart Wool. Our Jamie Leary is covering Colorado first, and she joins us from the Montbello neighborhood. And Jamie, that's where the company has already given back to the community. It looks like they're doing some restoration work here, but this is the open space park in Montbello donated by North Face through the VF Foundation, equipped with a beautiful climbing wall. This is what they're all about, and they say they plan to give back in a big way to Colorado. That tax incentive, $27 million to be exact, and BF, VF says it's going to do a dollar for dollar match, and just like this park, invest that money right back into our community. The company says that it cho chose Colorado specifically because of its local talent pool. It's no secret there are many Coloradans who have the skills required for an outdoor business model. And that's what these brands symbolize. And Coloradans, they know they're outdoors. In total, about 800 employees will be moving to an undecided location over the next year. 70 people are coming from the steamboat area where the smart wool company already exists. These are huge names in the outdoor world, and some may be concerned that this move means more traffic, but the state says that's not the case. I don't think there'll be a, a great impact to the infrastructure. Like I said, it'll happen more organically. The growth will come from existing Colorado talent, and they'll bring about an additional 100 people to the state. So I think it's a good opportunity to actually have underutilized workers or workers who are looking to transition to a new um, company or new industry, a great opportunity for, for a high paying job. The company does have a list of requirements that it needs to make in order to get that $27 million, for example. It needs to keep and maintain some of those jobs for a period of time. It says in 2019 it plans for a soft opening and it's currently looking for real estate around the metro area. Live in the Mount Bello neighborhood, Jamie Leary covering Colorado First. We'll stay on top of this one. Thank you, Jamie.